Hi friends, welcome back to Techie Trainers. My name is Sivakumar Reddy. In our previous video, we discussed about the disadvantages of virtualization approach. Now, let us discuss first the containerization approach and then we can discuss the advantages over the virtualization. Okay, so let us uh, first draw the structure of containerization approach. Uh, suppose we will have hardware. It means CPU, RAM, and then hard disk. So on top of it, we will have some OS. And on top of it, you will have a Docker engine. It is just a software. And you will have containers here directly. How the calls are being made is, there is no extra hypervisor, there is no extra uh, guest OS like in virtualization. Now the calls are uh, direct. The containers are not restricted to use like, uh, in uh, in virtualization you will, once you allocate 4 GB and then 100 GB. So you are blocking the hardware resources completely to the virtual server. But in containerization there is no blockage. Containers are few, uh, free to use the full resources of hardware if required, okay? But for safety, generally we give the limits to the container, but it can also use the full resources of hardware. There is no limit and the number of calls are being reduced. In virtualization, uh, first there will be a physical server and then host OS and then hypervisor and then guest OS, and then your application. So there are a lot of uh, layers in between, but here number of layers are very less. Your container can speak directly to the kernel of your OS, okay? So like this, the performance is very good, and then the maintenance is also very good. There is no learning curve, and you can uh, maintain many physical servers which will have the containerization. Now let us see how the container structure looks like. So container is equal to running instance of a image. So you know the image generally, if you know the, uh, if you ever have installed the virtualization or uh, any uh, uh, OS in your laptop, a image is nothing but a bootable file. It's a single file which have everything, the OS, the libraries, the software required. So image is nothing but everything which you need to install in a laptop. So here, container image is equal to some base OS plus libraries. Libraries required by your app. So generally we will build this image with some base OS and what are the libraries? Like in our previous videos we discussed the libraries are like the application runtime required by your application or some system packages, all these things. Together we call it as image. If you run this image, you will get a container. So your application, you will copy your application into this image. Okay, then if you run this image, you will get a container, which will have your application, then you can directly access your container uh, application through the browsers. So we can say like VM is like fat, but container is like lightweight. Because in VM you will have uh, OS sizes more, and you will have a lot of uh, packages, libraries, uh, there are a lot of running, uh, like in GBs, but in container image, it can be maximum, you can make it around 500 MB also, including your application, so that it will be very easy to spin up. So this is the advantage of uh, container. And you see the performance is also getting increased because there are very less number of calls inside it. 
and the main advantage of containerization is portable so once you build this image you can run this image anywhere in any voice you will get the application up and running within seconds maximum it will take 2 minutes time so within 2 minutes you can spin up your application in another container successfully but in vm approach it will take uh, some time on like 40 minutes to spin up the server configure it can be around 10 to 40 minutes but if you're using a container you can make it less than 2 minutes sometimes in seconds also and it is portable you can easily ship your application to another server for example you have a physical server here and you have docker containers running if this server is fail you can easily ship the entire thing into another physical server within minutes so that is called portable nature the so dockers are very lightweight and then easy to portable it will give the same results generally we call it as build the image ship the image to any OI, any server and then run it so simple so these are the like build ship and run anywhere so this is the container approach and you are not blocking your resources your containers are free to use if your container is using only 500 mb of ram and then maybe 1 gb of hard disk then that's it you are you are not blocking your resources so this is the container approach now we can compare all the three approaches like physical server approach vm approach and container approach in a simple table then you will understand really what are all these three approaches okay